electricity in general for us is a subject that everybody's really, really focused in on. We do these training classes over different subjects about once a month uh, for the fire department. And this one in particular, we had, I think, the most requests to attend this training. And we had the Austin Energy kind of talk about all your different equipment more than anything. Like, what are the different lines? How much energy are they carrying? What are the different ways you guys store energy? How your substations work? Stuff like that. And that's information that, that we don't really get in training. You may know about a substation or something like that if it's in your direct response area. But if you don't have a piece of that equipment that you deal with or respond to daily, it's nice to know sort of how it works, what we need to do if there's a problem with it, how the fire department were to mitigate any sort of accident or problem there. So to be more in depth about awareness of the hazards that are around them when they're on different scenes, whether it's a, a car hit a pole, a structure fire, or anything like that, just to be more situational awareness of what's around you. We had really great questions. Uh, we had really good, great conversations with them about different scenes we've been on together and how we can work better together in the future with AFD and our other partners. We consult with Austin Energy quite often on calls. So if we go to a structure fire, we're gonna to have to consult with Austin Energy if it's a big fire and we need to shut down electric to more than one specific breaker box. So if we need to go outside of the building, we're gonna consult with Austin Energy. We're also gonna use them if we make a traffic accident and it involves um, an electrical pole and we need to shut down the electric so that we can keep ourselves safe and we can keep the patients safe and we can keep all the emergency responders safe. We want the firefighters to see what goes on if there were an emergency in our work group, what they would be coming up on if somebody was being rescued off a pole or if somebody was getting pulled out of a manhole or taken out of a bucket truck. Basically what we do is we let them know our procedure, our policies and procedures and when they, when they arrive on scene, make sure everything is safe and then they can assist the patient at that point in time. It's always good working with the fire department. Good group of people. They, they train hard, they train well, they train often. I think close calls, near misses, all of that will go down with the experience and knowledge that they will have after they leave this safety and hazard class. To have an opportunity like this to learn a little bit more and have a little bit more awareness about the different lines, the different equipment, um, and just having a better idea of what we're up against, really it's, it's, it's priceless.